Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really exciting to show you. I thought of sharing this uh, simple graphing calculator I made using the C++ graphics.h library that runs on the console. But first, uh, let's go through the demonstration. Here we have our graphing calculator running in the console. You can see the coordinate axis and we will start by plotting some function. This calculator can plot various functions like trigonometric, linear, quadratic, cubic, power, exponential, logarithmic, and modulus functions. So let's dive right in. I'm going to plot a sine function. I'll enter t for trigonometry and then sine x. As you can see, the sine wave appears on the graph. Now I have three options to choose. Let's add another function to the existing plot. I will enter A to add another graph and then choose L for linear and enter the coefficients. And now both functions are displayed on the graph. If you want to clear the current graph and start face, you can enter B. Let's clear the graph and draw an exponential function. I will enter E and the base for the function. Finally, if you want to quit the program, just enter Q. This will exit the loop and close the program. Here is the code for our graphing calculator. First, uh, we include all necessary libraries, including the graphics.h library, along with the other necessary libraries. Then we define our graphing calculator class, where we will set up all the parameters for our graph, including the origin, scale, and color settings. Now, Let's take a look at how we draw the axis of for our graph. This is crucial for plotting our functions accurately on the graph. The draw axis and draw y axis method draw the x and y axis respectively, including the labels for each axis. Next, we have methods to evaluate different types of functions like trigonometric, linear, quadratic, and more. These functions evaluate respective function values for the given input x. To calculate trigonometric functions, we use the evaluate trig function method. Uh, this method needs two inputs, a string and a number. The string specifies which trigonometric functions to calculate and it returns the result. Similarly, we have methods to calculate linear, quadratic, cubic functions and more. We can add new types of functions if necessary. With these calculation methods ready, we can now focus on drawing these functions on our graph. Each function has a corresponding draw method that plots the graph in the window. This method goes through all the x values on our axis and colors the pixels based on the calculated values. Now, let's put everything together in our main function. We will initialize the graphics window, create an instance of our calculator, and then plot functions based on the user input. In the main function, we set up the window, initialize the calculator, and enter a loop continuously to take user input for various different functions. And there you have it. We can plot different types of functions and see them visually represented on the graph. I have provided the code in the description if you want to run it yourself. Feel free to modify the graph by adding more types of functions or making the graph smoother. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.